Hi folks, um, Nat971A here. Uh, in this video, um, I'm going to pretty much try and explain my previous video. Um, my quest, I guess, has been to try and rediscover Tesla's radiant energy or Edmund Gray's cold electricity. Uh, over the years, I've been experimenting with this circuit on and off. Um, been using uh, diodes and thyrotrons and unfortunately not knowing much about thyrotrons haven't really had much success until now so anyway what I've done is in my previous video I demonstrated um, some voltage readings that were being detected on uh, this capacitor here 38 and the uh, magnetic field generated by the load 36. Uh, so all in, pretty much all in my previous uh, tests it's been demonstrated all sorts of various readings on these on that ca charging capacitor and uh, all sorts of interesting uh, phenomena but nothing like this magnetic field has been generated on the load now so I think in, it's not too hard to conclude that I think I've finally found what Gray was doing um, so hence I've posted my circuit on the energetic forum uh, for people to replicate and uh, confirm uh, the circuit and what I believe it to be. There's a forum here on the internet called Energetic Forum. There's a thread called the Grey Tube Replication under uh, Renewable Energy. So anyway, I've posted my, my uh, circuit on this thread so if you want to replicate it and prove or disprove what I'm saying uh, be my guest um, I'm offering the circuit out for people to prove or disprove it um, um, basically the circuit is a hybrid between Gray's circuit here it also includes Tesla's disruptive discharge coil from his 1892 lecture uh, which I've placed uh, one of the primaries here and the other one on the negative 5 voltage side anyway it should be well, I mean, I've placed the circuit so it should be able to be fairly clear uh, what I've done there um, in this the only modification I've done here is I've added a sphere to one of the secondaries and some of the testing I've done in the past I've connected the ground as per Tesla's radiant energy patent and um, in my current setup the, I, I just realised the ground wasn't even connected so I'm not really sure I want to do that just yet uh, and I'm probably going to run out of time to continue testing this much further um, anyway, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my setup. Okay, um, here's my low voltage uh, anode, high voltage anode, and my um, charge receiving grids. I've got German silver wrapped around the charge receiving grids, going to this yellow wire, which comes, where is it? Comes over here to my load, where I'm. I've got a little very weak magnet here to uh, test where there's any magnetic field at the moment you can see it really doing not much at all the circuits not running anyway when not when it was running um, there is definitely a magnetic field there and it's not just a, a short pulse it seems to be fairly um, steady continuous sort of magnetic field there so definitely a major change in the way this circuit operates um, here is Tesla's disruptive 
discharge uh, coil. It's a zinc box uh, with equal and oppositely wound primaries and secondaries, which are made out of coaxial cable. Uh, here's my sphere. Uh, okay, the, it's not a very professional setup, but uh, you know, I'm a very busy person, so um, I sort of build things to uh, rapidly and being able to test various configurations quickly rather than trying to perfect things and uh, there's no point in perfecting anything unless it gives me the results so anyway um, standard uh, Bedini type uh, circuit here that's running my oscillator um, I've got a PC fan uh, that's been modified as per the instructions that a chap called Emotip uh, submitted on the energetic forum I'm not going to go into details about how to construct that, it's on the forum uh, you'll have to look for that uh, it's basically um, rewiring the PC fan uh, there might be some one of my previous videos, there might be some links there to the exact forum, I think it's pretty pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory um, Okay, my spark gap, I've got a, um, a fan there that I've set up there for quenching. I haven't been using that. Uh, it may even produce even better results, but at the moment, I think the results I'm getting are good enough for test, for testing as in a safe way. Uh, I'm sure the circuit can be tuned a hundred thousand times better than what I've done it. Okay, um, unfortunately I ran out of table space so I had to set all this up on the ground, it'd be very dodgy but uh, whether that's affecting the results I don't know, could be, could be grounding out somewhere. Um, anyway I've got the battery with some uh, 18k resistors um, connected to the filament of the thyrotron that from what I understand of how the Thyrotron, my understanding is very, very, pretty much zero on how this works, but um, that is, uh, from what I understand, charging up the filament on the Thyrotron. Um, here you can see the capacitor is connected to uh, the grid. And there's some other wires connecting to the plate from the um, uh, low voltage anode. Here you can see my uh, carbon block resistor as per uh, Bedini's uh, setup. Uh, maybe not exactly the same, but it's close enough. Uh, interestingly enough, when originally when I tested this circuit, I didn't have it in, and the voltage readings on the charging cap connected to the load was probably around about the 50 volt mark and then as soon as I added that carbon block in it jumped up to the um, 150, 250 plus mark so definitely boosts the charge in the capacitor um, okay here's the batteries uh, charging the uh, oscillator circuit. Uh, unfortunately this isn't really set up for um, doing really good demonstrations so I'm going to be it's going to be quite limited on what I'm going to be able to show you and unfortunately I don't have a lot of time to be uh, setting up demonstrations and things like that so um, I'll give you a quick demo of the sparking in action on the um, high voltage and low voltage anodes without the Thyrotron actually no, the Thyrotron is connected but um, I'm not going to power it up uh, it's, it's probably getting a little bit dangerous for me to video it and, and uh, doing all sorts of tests so I'm going to switch it on I'm going to Turn the fan. And press, I'm getting nothing. 
Well, I'm going to turn on the thrasher and we'll give it a go. Uh, Okay, I've just connected the battery to the Thyrotron. Uh, is there anything else? I've, I have noticed it sort of might take a minute or two to warm up or something. Not sure. The one thing I've noticed is these spark caps are really finicky, so I'm just going to just give you a quick view of the sparking, I guess. Okay, so that's sparking with the Thyrotron's on, uh, but I'm not clicking the relay yet. Okay. And you can s I'm not sure I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show the inside of the tube. That's inside the tube. I'm not going to be able to show you, but there's definitely no sparking going to the tube or anything like that. Okay, yeah, the um, spark gap seems to be uh, needing adjusting. Uh, it was, seems to uh, be quite finicky and the gap needs to be adjusted all the time. So I'm not going to show another demonstration tonight. It's rather late and uh, I'm exhausted. So basically what... Uh, I might be able to post another video at another date, but basically um, I think the proof in the pudding is this magnetic field being generated by the load here I showed in my previous video. Uh, and I think if we get some of the top guns from the energetic forum, um, you know, building a, a replication or something similar to what I've done here, uh, I think we can take this uh, to the next level uh, and I guess anyone who uh, does confirm the results and helps contribute then uh, I think we can um, talk about partnership deals and things like that but anyway let's one step at a time okay I've already had one question about what sort of Thyrotron it is and I really don't remember it's a Russian Thyrotron that I bought off eBay as a vintage one at that I really don't remember much about it it was probably the cheapest one I could buy on uh, eBay and I think I ended up buying about four of them or thereabouts because I was, had no idea how to work it or anything and um, if you do end up buying one uh, this is what I think, I assume that's right. It's pin one from the missing one there, and it goes clockwise. Uh, so there's two pins for the filament, one for the plate. Hmm. Actually, I haven't marked this one. Oh, there's the grid. Um, and this is the instruction I got with it. Uh, which I cannot read for the life of me. It might be a hydrogen one. I, I, um, I don't know. If anyone can read Russian, uh, feel free and I can uh, scan this in and email it to you. Someone can translate it, don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I, I can't read any of this. So. You know, my circuit's not even tuned to even run this thing. So, uh, you know, I've never worked with these in my life. Don't know anything about them. Just had a go when uh, I seem to be getting results. So, um, which probably is a good thing. You probably don't want to get this tuned too well. You might end up um, with some quite... Uh, nasty discharges perhaps I don't know so at the moment it seems to be fairly safe so I vaguely recall looking at um, hydrogen and um, something else thyrotrons but anyway this was the cheapest one I could get and uh, I just had a go so 
I suggest you, anyone who's thinking about uh, performing a replication, uh, just try and get the cheapest one you can get. Uh, but certainly this is the key to the circuit, there is no question about it. A diode, in my opinion, uh, let, let's say it gives them some interesting results, but it's not getting anything like what I'm getting. Um, I'm getting a, a, a steady magnetic field generated in the load. So um, I'll leave it out to someone else to uh, perform a replication, my circuit's posted and uh, hopefully we get some successful results and then hopefully we get some of the top guns that I know are lurking out there on the EJEG forum and elsewhere to step in and uh, really um, take this to where it needs to go. So uh, one step at a time, let's, let's do that and we'll go from there.